Hey what's up guys, welcome back to my youtube channel Alphamedia UG and on this channel I upload tech videos weekly. So in today's video I'm going to show you the final solution, I can call it final and so far the best solution of how to fix app not installed error on android and it works for all android devices. Let's say for example you have an apk, you downloaded an app on play store and it's not, and it's not installing and you could be wondering what solution you're gonna apply to that. We have lots of videos on YouTube that suggest the solution to this but you may find that out of all of them some don't work for some devices they don't work for some Android devices so I'm going to show you quickly how we can do that so just in case you didn't go through my previous video make sure to check it out so that you first do the settings before we dive into these new settings because the new settings work based on the previous ones so make sure that you enable installing from unknown apps on chrome and uh, at the same time you have cleared the cache on both google play services and google play store so i'm doing this quickly because i've done it in the previous video so i'll, I'll provide a link at the end of this very video for you to check it out because i'm doing this video some people were complaining it's not working on their devices so even play store you disable play protection but after installing your app you can enable it again so now these methods that i'm going to show you are two and i believe they will work for you so it just involves you downloading two app settings from play store and these ones usually have no issues of installation error. So the first one, we're going to open your Play Store. And then from Play Store, you're, you're gonna type in this APK Signer App. It's called APK Signer App. So this is the first app we are giving a try. And in case this doesn't work for you, there's a next one and then you install so it's this very first app with those reviews so you're gonna install it so after installing you open it now on opening you come down where there is sign a file that option down and then from here it takes you to the root storage or to the folder where your LPK file is and then you just look for that file so it is for now we are using this music player which didn't install in the first case so you select that app that APK and then you click save just below at, at the bottom so then it will sign So after signing, you just you just click on it. And you allow necessary permissions settings you allow. And I believe this is going to have that app installed. So let's see what happens. the app has been installed successfully so if in case this doesn't work for you let's go for this other one you're going to go to play store still and then you install this app apk editor i'll provide the link in the description then you select an apk file so still it will takes it takes you to the folder where your apk is So mine is in the root storage so I'm gonna scroll down to music player so it's that one and then you select common edit third option common edit from there and uh, install location by default it's not specified but then you're going to select that and then we go for internal internal only I mean external external rather and then you save 
the saving option is down so we'll give it some little time so guys all this and then you install that option you click that option of install and this will have your app installed and guys these ones you do after you've done the first settings that I showed in the previous video you allow all those permissions and then you install these apps to be able to run that APK so I believe this has worked for you and if it does please make sure to comment and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly videos and see you in the next video